Hi, I'm Alavir Nick, and aside from my usual video update, I've decided to do this little offshoot of a few Living with Alavir um, videos. And this one is Alavir Essentials. So if you're thinking of doing this program, if you're restarting on this program, make sure you have these things to hand because for me personally, it's made a really big difference and I've, I've experienced some really successful weight loss with Alavir. The first thing is, get yourself one of these. Uh, a floppy spatula. No, it's a silicon spatula um, and they're absolutely brilliant. Um, you can see about the size of this one. It's made by OXO. I bought it a few years ago now. They, they're absolutely superb because with the, uh, with the savory sachets with aloe vera, especially when you're cooking them in a, in a frying pan, they can stick from time to time and, and this really helps tucking under with that very thin blade and flipping things up. Talking of frying pans, invest in a new one. Even if you've got an absolutely superb one in the cupboard which we had I just decided to have a dedicated one so one was always available on the washing up drainer and uh, and the non-stick on this is absolutely superb it was about 10 pounds uh, came with an eight-year guarantee but I swear these things are a totally different experience in their first year of life compared to even a really good one after a few years the non-stick on this is awesome and of course on this diet you've only got a table a teaspoon of oil a day so really important that that non-stick is up to it um, the next thing i'm going to show you is is well i suppose this this you'll have one of these already don't discard this. Having one of these shakers with a little blue insert, it came, um, it's a lock and lock one. I'm sure you'll have got it with your aloe vera startup kit as well. Um, absolutely essential. Really good. They've they faded off a bit here, but you've got measurements at the side here. And I mark with a Sharpie the various levels of my favorite shakes on the go with a bottle of water. There's never an excuse not to be able to make up a quick shake while you're out and about. Talking of which, when you're out and about, that's when you get a pinch point with any weight loss program where it can all go wrong. That's when you're like, oh, I'm starving hungry, I feel dizzy, I need something. That's why you need these. So these pre-mixed drinks are, are superb just to have in the glove box in the car in your laptop bag, a bit big for a laptop bag or a handbag if you're, if you're a girl, of course. Um, these are more laptop bag sized. Only allowed three of these a week, of course, um, but the crunch bars, there's a whole variety of different ones on aloe vera. They're all awesome. Um, I wish I could have these all the time, but only three a week. Um, these, by the way, you're only allowed one a day, I believe. Comment if I'm wrong with that. I think that's right. These come under the three a week as well. That doesn't mean you can have three of these and three of the chocolate bars. It counts as one of your three. Um, but the sweet chili and sour cream crisps, this is a really great, quick and easy meal substitute if you just need to grab and go and you don't have time to, 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 to make up shakes or you just want to crunch on something rather than just drink more shakes. So, so these are really good. Um, the other thing I'd recommend is getting a good selection of sugar-free chewing gum. Now on this diet you're allowed four pieces a day, right? So think outside of the box. Don't just get mint, right? Mint is good because on this diet, it can be nice to freshen your breath from time to time, okay? But um, this one's bubble mint, which is kind of strawberry, tastes like hubba bubba if you, well, not exactly like hubba bubba, but it's it's a similar strawberry bubble gum experience. Um, I like the, this color extra. It's kind of a buttery mint, more like a, a, a Mintos, if you remember those. Um, and Airwaves, this one, I've not really ever had a cold on this plan, probably because of all the nu nutrition that's going into me. It's much more balanced than normal. Um, so this is, yeah, black mint flavor. I really like it. It's, um, it's, it, it's just a bit different. Um, the other thing, I'd really recommend having loads of lemons on supply when you're at home. That's because you have to drink a lot of water on this plan. You know, I think for me, I try and aim for six pints a day, which is roughly what, what I should be taking. And I always cut fresh lemon with every glass and it makes a real difference. It really, really makes it taste better and makes you feel better. It's easier to get to the bottom of the glass. Um, okay, so the shaker we've covered. This is the next thing I would recommend. This is fairly new for me. This was a Black Friday special. Doesn't have to be a Nutribullet 600 series. That's what I got, or Magic Bullet, I think is the other name. And there's loads of these out there and they range anything from 15 quid upwards. Basically, it's a jug with blades. Brilliant for making up shakes, 
brilliant for throwing a few ice cubes in with say the hot chocolate drink and you can mix it up and it makes like this weird chocolate slush puppy thing which is more of a dessert that you can get really creative on aloe vera with one of these. I use this nearly every day for dinner. I just stuff it with baby spinach leaves as a base, throw in a bit of carrot, throw in a bit of lemon, um, you know, a few tomatoes, all off of within my allowances, of course, zhuzh it up. It smells like cut grass, but it tastes actually pretty good, um, especially with that little squeeze of lemon. If you get the balance right, I threw, uh, threw a few radishes in there last night, which made it a bit peppery. It, you, can, you can definitely have some fun with this, worth getting. Otherwise, you can get into a bit of a routine, or I certainly did, where I was just having stir-fried vegetables every evening. Obviously, you can add those savory sachets to that bed of stir-fried uh, vegetables to make it a bit more exciting. But, um, but yeah, can't recommend this enough. Brilliant. The next thing, one of these, a little baby whisk. Again, really good if you're away on holiday while you're on this plan. Um, and just a really handy thing to have in the kitchen. Great for mixing up your omelettes, um, unless you've got one of these cool... Uh, <laughs> um, uh, blender things um, but also good for for, for the pancake um, and even mixing up some of like your Arbonne Digestion Plus sachets which I'll move on to now actually so the meds really recommend a little plastic box like this that is because when I come down first thing in the morning and I have my morning omelette I literally work my way through the box so I know I've taken everything correctly so the first thing I take oh and here we go it's come off is the Quinton, I've heard it called, or the Trace Minerals Dietary Supplement, and attached to that normally on an elastic band, it's been, it's been washed up, is this, which is a quarter teaspoon measurer. Now these are really handy because, as you well know, you have to increase to 20 drops. Now if you're doing 20 drops out of that little bottle, I tell you, you're doing it twice a day, it's gonna drive you up the wall. Get that little thing, will make a difference, you can use it as a stirrer, rush it under the tap, and put it back on, perfect. So that would be the first one. Once I've taken it, I put it outside the box. Next, the magnesium. See, I label the top of them, so it reminds me one at breakfast, the salt, one at breakfast, one at dinner. It's a good little tip to do that, so two of those a day. Um, Omega-3. I've just made sure that everything is in a, a clearly labeled, so I can't get it wrong, because in the early days, it's, it's hard to remember everything. Um, so yeah, as I take them, I take them outside of the box. Now, that brings me on to the Digestion Plus, and I was just talking about using this little whisk, which, if you're adding this to a glass of water, in my experience, is the best way, again, unless you're using a blender, of taking it. However, whether I'm alone here, I find if you add it first to the water, it sits at the bottom, like moon sand, if you remember that stuff, or if you fill a glass of water and sit on the top, it just sits on the top, you've really got to whisk it to separate it, and then you end up with these clods in there, which I really don't enjoy. Stick this in your blender for your evening meal. As I was talking about, the super smoothie works really, really well. You don't even know it's gone in there. Um, you can also add it to an omelette. I've done that in the past. Again, I would recommend doing that with a blender to really whisk it up. But then it's something you don't even notice you're taking, which is really good. Um, so that, I think, is pretty much everything I wanted to go through. In fact, as it's here, I would really recommend, and this is a big expense, but if you haven't got one of these, get yourself a decent bean to cup coffee machine, or at least some really decent coffee, because black coffee is allowed. And I start every day, in fact, I'm gonna have one in a minute, I'm tempting myself thinking about it. A lovely black coffee straight out of one of these just lifts you, it's brilliant. So that's it, those are my top tips, essential stuff that you need for aloe vera. And uh, yeah, if, if, if you take a few of these tips, who knows, hopefully you'll enjoy um, similar success to I have.